One thing I want people to know about my job is that even though it looks like we're just sitting down, just looking, taking care of the machine, I would say our job covers more than that. Hi, my name is Fatli Hakim. I've been working in NUH as a perfusionist for five years. There's only like 13 of us in NUH and there's only 30 of us in Singapore. One of the common misconceptions is that I sell perfumes. What I do do is I basically oxygenate the blood and return back to the patient. I have two main machines. These are the heart lung machines and the extracorporeal membrane oxygenation machines, the ECMO machine. It's to basically keep people alive when I do heart surgery. In a heart surgery, they have to stop the heart. And when they stop the heart, basically my machine takes over the heart function and also the lung function during the surgery. So I have to learn the whole physiology of the patient. When the patient goes on surgery, not just the heart and lung, everything is connected after all. But when it comes to emergency cases, you really have to rush. You do not have all the information you need when the patient comes in very fast. You're basically on a adrenaline rush for their life to be saved. I would say the most unforgettable memory recently would be uh, the first COVID ECMO case. We kind of put aside our fear of the COVID itself and just focus on the work at hand where we have to put the patient on ECMO. That was a very fulfilling memory, I think. I do feel that satisfaction where, you know, when a patient goes through a 14-hour surgery and then they are supposedly dead without that surgery. And when they go through the surgery and then they survive and then they continue to live on their life. Uh, that helps motivate me to work. Even though the patients themselves might not even know we actually do our work on the back end, my job actually has a huge difference on a person's life. It's actually a good chance of survival once they come to our OT.